about to do some cleanup on this job site to try to get everything wrapped up and ready to go so we can move the skitter out this weekend. While I do that, you can watch the video of uh, Brandon and I moving that skitter the other night. It's a 540B, our older one. Well, they're all old, I guess they're B models. Uh, we hauled it up to Oregon, Missouri. It's one of the ones we got rid of. We've got uh, one 540B cable left and the 548D grapple left. Of course, our little 440C we're not going to sell. But uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a good haul. It was a good run. So enjoy the video clips. It was uh, definitely a long day for both me and Brandon. He'd been up longer than I had that day. I think he was right at 24 hours how long he'd been up by the time we got home. So we were both, we were both dragging. It was a long day, but it was a fun run. Uh, taking those trucks out like that is just, uh, I don't think either one of us will be super truckers, but uh, we can go on little things like that and kind of kind of feed the addiction for trucking anyway. Sure makes it fun having a nice truck and trailer to do it. Guys, take care. Enjoy. It's the maiden voyage of the Pitts 35-ton low boy. Now, obviously, Brandon's got to boom it down. I got to film or we wouldn't have any film to watch. <laughs> I'll help him in just a second. You're gonna see uh, the loading, the ramps, all that stuff here pretty soon. Then just the video of our trip. Uh, we're leaving pretty late. Brandon had to work early this morning. I had to work early to finish up a job at Walnut. So <clears throat> we're headed out for sub where Oregon, Missouri, I think. I think it's Oregon, Missouri. Somewhere way up, it's northwest of St. Joe. So we're, we've got a little bit of driving to do. It'll be late before we get back. Uh, Brandon's wagon, it's it's ready to roll. Mine goes in here the next week or so to get the sleeper taken off and get painted and turned into a day cab. So until then, we're going to be using Brandon's truck to pull my wagon with. So without further ado, the low boy video. not need one for the middle just all four corners and blade yep. now if I'd uh, custom ordered this trailer I would have had more lights put on it more chicken lights and aluminum wheels which the aluminum wheels would be hard to fix, but the chicken lights, I kind of wish we had more lights on it. So, kind of crazy. That's the, that's the bull hauler in me, I guess. And away we go.
Brandon's truck. Mine should look pretty close to it when it gets back from the shop. Like I said mine's getting day capped. Brandon's got red fenders on his. I think I'm gonna go with orange fenders on my truck, orange and black. I kind of like the matte black look that it has. It's a seven inch stack, I'll probably do the same thing. It's hard to beat these little 379 peaks. Brandon has a 435 Detroit 60 series in his with 10 speed. Mine has a 6NZ 550 Caterpillar with a 13. So, mine should be able to haul the groceries. Now Brandon said he could definitely tell a little weight difference in this Pitts trailer compared to the old Heister that we, that I used to own that I sold to Brandon. But quite a bit more trailer here. Gas is only 273 over there at SAP. That's pretty cheap gas. Red lights. She closed?
After 1.30 in the morning, we've made it home. See you guys. Hey guys, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos.